at Kusile, we are bringing back the dignity of women. So I used to work in Cape Town, even though I was born here in Stadaheim, I used to work here. I thought um, I would love to go back and plow back in my own community because I've been also doing community work in Cape Town, but it was not fulfilling because I had this gap in me that I wanted to go back home and plow back. Uh, this centre started in 2012. Uh, when I came back from Cape Town, I started um, inviting women to workshops and I used to ask them what are they doing with their lives and what can we do in order for us as women to, to, to address challenges and needs that we have. To be a woman in a, in a rural area, it's like you are being in jail and you end up not knowing who you are and what you want in life and um, the lack of, 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 of resources and not being able to do anything for yourself. You, 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 you really uh, have no opportunities and the abuse, the poverty, uh, the, the, the lack of direction and, and, and unemployment, you, you end up, you know, um, most of women, they end up drinking because they are locked, they, their lives are not going anywhere. We have got a, a victim centre whereby we give a, a temporary accommodation for a, a, a woman or any other abused person, whether it be a child or whether it be a woman who has been abused, this is a place where to run to. And what we then do, we, we would then uh, link this person with the, with the, with the special uh, assistance that the person might need. If the person is raped, we take the person together with the police to the hospital. We accompany the person back to the police station to give a statement and come back to the center. And then we give the, 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 the client um, a little pack whereby the person can have some bath. And then and thereafter, we give that person counseling. Sometimes other people, they don't want to talk after the whole ordeal. They just want to keep quiet and just be quiet. We give them a cup of tea and, and, and then we make sure that there, there, uh, there is a caregiver next to that person whenever the person wants to talk just to be that ear where, where you know the, where the person can talk to. Ungadu la lapa lufike tizbona dinge ngomtu pakati kwa bandu. Kota ditengo ngena kwa maapa. Dazbona na ambandi apana na banyabandu. Umatuko uko na kumu. Kabandi chikandi za apa ndizi vendi kule kili. Kubandi ayazba kani fika apa ndi fika ndi kipani nubandi sekai, sekai nila. So that's what we do for women and also we run workshops on about ma uh, 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 marriage, marriage enrichment, about parenthood, about um, self-esteem. We also do door-to-door -door campaigns to just uh, find out how people are living. And that's what um, resulted in us realizing that a soup kitchen is really a need in the area. We make soup um, from Monday to Thursday and we feed five communities. So we've got this community where, where I stay and these people in this community, they eat soup twice a week. And then on Monday, we go to another village called Mbolueni. Tuesday, we go to Ekdenu. Wednesday, we go to Emasimini, one part of Emasimini. And then on Thursday, we go to the other side of Emasimini. So every, every day, we make sure that at least one area gets a soup. The greatest need here is space. We we really need uh, some premises. Look how how small the place is. This is my garage that I converted into an office and a victim's room. And it's not enough. We would love to have a bigger space, a piece of land, maybe uh, someone who can um, people who can help us with the, with the building.
Dibon Biluna Tongo Basia Nail, and this best in South Africa, Pacific as a human. A slally singer younger, no background or two hours or color pay off the same with human. My wish for the women of this country is for them to realize that they are complete and whole as they are. And they can go out there and make it. There is nothing that they do not have. It's within themselves that they can wake up and say, I'm gonna make it. If so and so made it, I can also make it. So they need to be motivated. They need to be inspired. They need to be trained. They need to be told how beautiful they are and how strong and resilient they are and and the fact that they are created for a purpose <laughs>